This is The Daily Two. I'm Caroline Renfro. Joining me today is Dr. Jason Wilson. He's a gastroenterologist at Charlotte Gastroenterology. And in addition to general gastroenterology, you do a procedure called endoscopic ultrasound. Could you tell me about that? Yeah, that's right. You know, I believe endoscopic ultrasound is one of the most exciting developments in GI in the last few years. It combines standard endoscopy with an ultrasound probe on the end of the, on the, end of the instrument. And uh, from a patient's perspective, it's uh, minimally invasive like a standard endoscopy. Um, but what the addition of the ultrasound allows for is very detailed uh, imaging of the abdominal organs. And how is this different from a standard x-ray or CT scan? Uh, compared to a standard x-ray, uh, it provides much more detailed images. And in addition to just looking, um, a fine needle can be passed through the endoscope and a biopsy can be obtained which can allow for a much more definitive diagnosis. What are some of the uses of endoscopic ultrasound? Right now there are a lot of uses for it. Um, uh, for many patients with gastrointestinal cancers, it's helpful in obtaining the diagnosis um, and also in providing the correct staging, which is important for choosing the right therapy. It has many other uses as well, uh, pancreatic cysts, intestinal nodules, unexplained abdominal pain or pancreatitis, uh, to name a few. And are there many GI groups in the area that provide this technology? Right now, Charlotte GI is the only private practice group that provides it. Um, uh, I've been doing it here. Uh, in town for about two years. It's a fairly new technology and I'm the only person in private practice uh, doing it. So if people want to learn more about this, where do they go? Uh, you can call the number on the bottom of the screen or uh, visit us at our website at charlottegastro.com. All right, like he said, the website is charlottegastro.com. Of course, to make an appointment to learn more, you can call the number on the bottom of your screen as well. I'd like to thank you for Great. joining us yeah. here, Dr. Thank Wilson. You. This is The Daily Two and I'm Caroline Renfro. This is The Daily Two, I'm Caroline Renfro. Joining me today is Dr. Dennis Kokinas. He's the president of Charlotte Gastroenterology. And Dr. Kokinas, I keep hearing people talk about their colonoscopy. Why is this such an important procedure? Colon cancer is the second most common cancer in the United States. It affects both men and women. Unlike the most common cancer, lung cancer, which is directly related to smoking, there is no identifiable risk group. So therefore, we're all at risk. So what are some of the symptoms of colon cancer? Unfortunately, until the disease is advanced, there aren't a lot of symptoms. And so it's very important to perform a screening colonoscopy at around age 50 or earlier in certain high-risk groups to remove precancerous lesions which can, be turn, can turn into cancer. And does a colonoscopy have to be performed in a hospital? No. In fact, since 2004, we've been doing them in our office. We were the first group to do that, and we've done over 50,000 cases in a very comfortable environment for our patients. We have offices in Mooresville, Randolph Road, and Ballantyne. We've developed a program called Open Access Colonoscopy, where patients can download a form from our website, charlottegastro.com, fill it in, and we'll do the rest. And what other services does Charlotte Gastroenterology provide? We provide services for all digestive diseases including heartburn, indigestion, irritable bowel, as well as more challenging conditions like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. We're also hepatologists taking care of all liver diseases including uh, liver transplantation preparation. Well, as Dr. Kokinas mentioned, they have several locations in the area. If you'd like to schedule an appointment or for more information, you can log on to their website, charlottegastro.com, or you can call the number on the screen below. Dr. Kokinas, thank you for joining us here today. Thank I'm you. Caroline Renfro. This is The Daily Two.